What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, and today in the world of indie games, I just felt like playing some turmoil. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I don't know if this is gonna be like a big playthrough or anything else like that, but I like turmoil tremendously, and I saw it sitting there in my Steam catalog, and I was like, you know what? There's probably somebody on the channel that hasn't seen this game. Turmoil is a fantastic game if you've never played it before. It's a lot of fun. I really do recommend it. We can play The Heat Is On, or we can play Normal Turmoil. Either or, it's up to you, whichever you want to play, it doesn't really matter. The Heat Is On is quite a bit more difficult, uh, but Turmoil, the regular campaign, is a lot of fun too. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Uh, we gotta pick who we want to be. I always go with Joshua, because like, look at that man. He's a man in a black hat. You know, this is a man that don't play around right here. It's a man that don't play around. Alright, and so the mayor is gonna be like, yo, do you want to buy some land? Uh, that's the beginning of all of this stuff. And so he's going to assign us some land. Basically, the way that this works is that time flows in this game in between you drilling. The point of the game is to drill for oil and get the most oil that you possibly can by the end of the year allotted. And so at the end of every single year, you'll auction off land, which will all be rated in different levels and things like that for the amount of gold or the amount of diamonds or the amount of other stuff that it has around. And alternatively, after you do that, this will be cleared out. You'll move to other land parcels as the game gets harder and harder. And so anyways, it's a lot of fun. I, I think you should definitely check this game out. This is one of the finer indie games that's out there. Alright, it's good to see you again. We brought along some familiar faces. Alright, so there's that dude right there with the horsepower. We've got an inventor. We've got Fred who handles all of our drilling stuff. And we've got the bank where we can take loans and stuff like that as I recall. She's apparently bought every upgrade on Earth. Good lord. Okay. Well, with our horses, we can buy a couple of things. Let me look and see what they bought first. So they got width, they got branches, they got drill, they got size and size, moles. Okay. He got some herd sizes. Alright. I just wanted to see what everybody else was buying. Uh, I will upgrade the size of our carts. And... I'm going to upgrade our herd size so that we got a couple of herds. So I'll expand with 15, so now we can have 40 horses instead of the 25 we currently have. This dude over here has depth speed mole scanner. I want to get width. Yeah, let's get width. Let's get size of our silos and then our pipes. I'll probably go for width 3 just in case. The drill lets you go through rocks, which is kind of nice, just in case you want to do that. Branching is good, too. We can also drill faster. I'll probably go with branching. That looks good. I don't think there's too many issues in here. I don't really want to take out a loan right now. What do I have compared to all of them? They actually bought way more cool stuff than I bought. Okay. I'll probably go... Yeah, let's get a better dousing rod. I like the moles, too. I tend to play with a lot of moles. I like moles, like, quite a bit. Probably buy a little bit of that. We've got gas moles. We'll look for gas near every cell. Okay. Go with cells three. I want my moles to be really good at moling. There we go. We're gonna... Basically, our entire operation is gonna revolve almost entirely around just moles. Alright, cool. So we're good to go over here. They're still building the town. Let's go ahead and dig away, shall we? Yep, let's go to our oil site. We don't have a whole lot of competition going on right now, so we might as well just have fun with it. All right, so now we can connect gas right away. Okay, well, I don't even know if I have gas right now, so let's go ahead and I need a dowser. So let's go ahead and get a couple of these dudes running around. I've got myself an oil silo right there, just in case we got to take some stuff back. Uh, we're going to need a couple of wagons as well. That's W. There we go. Let me get two of you guys real fast. We've only got like $1,500 to play with right now. My dowser ain't really found much so far. He's trying. I swear to God, if the oil is right under... Oh my God, it's right underneath. All right. Fine. So we're going to take that over to there. We're going to open that on up. And what we want to do is we want to watch the prices on both sides to see what's going to get us paid. I'm going to go down to here because I think I see the oil well. There it is. It's a little guy. It's not a big oil well, but it's something. Uh, yeah, I'll probably keep that right where it's at. Uh, we're going to take that all over to the silo just in case prices end up going 
super de duper de high. Because I am trying to get paid out here, after all. This is not a welfare operation. And we can upgrade our drill speed. I don't really care about that. We can wait on it for a little bit. We've got a little bit of oil saved up. I don't know if I should be selling. Eh, we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. It'll be okay. Hopefully he finds something nearby so that I can bring a branch over here. Yeah, send one horse over there. I don't want you to send all the horses over, but I do need to get paid. So send one of those dudes over, and then hopefully we'll be okay. I missed out on a little bit of money right there by not selling when it was up higher. But I will. Such is life. Alright, so we got 500 bucks right now, just in case. What you got going on, man? You find anything over there? Anything? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me an oil rig right here. Alright, let's take her down. Hopefully we find something good on this side. I don't see much, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to wait, and I'm going to have to sell some of these at a higher price, but honestly, I can't really work with a whole lot right now. I may have overspent on the silo. Like, I think what I used to do when I would play this game is I would put in my first oil derrick, and I would have that just, like, run to whoever was paying the most. But actually, right now, it looks like we ain't making a whole lot of money. Hopefully our storage don't fill up. By the time prices go back up, otherwise we're gonna we're gonna struggle a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. We can speed things up ever so slightly. We've got an entire year to do this in, so it's no biggie. Prices are going up right there, so we're gonna start running oil over to this side, so we can start making a little bit of cash. Cause I am a baroked as a joked. Oh, actually, that side's going up. Never mind. Run it over there. All right, let's take this thing down. We don't want to overshoot it. If we overshoot it, that's going to sucketh. This seems like it's down pretty low. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, upgrade that, please. I'm going to need a lot more oil if we're going to make this work. Yep, you guys keep making that money over there. I need a few more horses but I need you to like unload my supply on this side like right now yep take it straight over there siphon it off see how much we can make Give a couple more horses and swap everybody over to here yep just take it over there I don't even care take it over there Give me a mole or two. Yeah, you guys just do your thing over here. And look around for anything you might be able to find. I'm going to upgrade that dude twice. And eh, prices ain't that great right now, so we're going to wait for things to go back up. Uh, they are going to fill up this silo pretty quickly, but I'm hoping what will happen is that they're going to eat out all that stuff right there, and then, ooh, we got a couple of, okay. So we got a couple of gas veins over here. The way that gas works in this game, in case you don't know. So if you've got a gas reservoir, what you can do is you take the gas and you run it to one of these guys, and as you're pumping gas in, what it'll do is it'll push the price even higher. So basically it'll give it like a two times, three times price, bo or price boost so that you can take your oil and you can sell it all off in a giant... Just fire sale, basically, although I'd be afraid to even say the word fire around an oil derrick, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I believe we're going to need another silo over here. So let's make that happen before we end up with accidents over here. I don't think they found a whole lot so far. I mean, all you can really do is keep digging downwards and hoping you hit something at some point. I keep hoping the moles will find something too, but... Unfortunately, we ain't been that lucky. There's something right there. So I'll probably take that down right here once this is all done and taken care of. I'll probably get after that oil reservoir right there. And it looks like that oil has officially run out. This guy right here, like, how big is this? It's a valid question upgrade that how are our price is looking left side's going back up all right uh, give me another oil well over here uh, 
And what I'd very much like to do... Let's take that to right there. Take that down to right there. It looks like they might have found something right there, too. How are our prices looking? Alright, you guys start unloading so we don't end up with oil just sitting in the silos. I'm trying to get paid right now. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. We're going to take that down to there. And you got to close the valve in case you didn't know. And so we're going to close that down right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and push left's prices up so that we can make a bunch of Skrilla. That's the goal for right now. Uh, we're going to try and have a big end of the year blowout, basically. Big summer blowout. Woohoo! Like all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you guys just take that to the silos. Try to keep spillages to a minimum here. I'm going to run that over to there because that looks like we've got something good going on that side. I don't know if that's going to be oil. Or if that's going to be something else, but I'm going to give it a look. We'll find out. What is that? We hit magma. Okay, so it's basically just stone. Gotcha. So these guys are pumping everything out over there. I would like you guys to sell a little bit of a surplus over there on that side if you can. But we're going to wait for the prices to go back up on left. We found anything else? It looks like there's something right there. I can't tell what that is, but it looks like there's something. We got another gas cluster right there. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling this land might not be very good. All right, prices going back up on left. Yeah, you guys siphon off of there real quick. Let me get another horse or two because this sell-off is going to have to happen rapidly once this occurs all right so we're gonna watch this price right here we're gonna try and make it push its way upwards it's going kind of slow though all right so we push that up Y'all upgrade and sell. Sell, 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 sell. There we go. I'm trying to make a little bit of money out here. I'm trying to get a little bit paid out here. That was a pretty good reservoir that we just dropped right there. I'm going to drop a few more moles just to see what happens. Not bad. Y'all done all right. Y'all did all right right there. And the price is still good. So we can still keep selling until that hits like a buck 20 or so. And then we made 17,000. That's not terrible. My best I've ever pulled off, I think, is like 40 or 50,000. All right. That price is no good anymore. That price is no bueno. Uh, I don't know what we're looking at right there, but that looks like something. Got a few more gas veins over here. I'm going to send that down to right there just to see what it is. Yep, keep storing it up. We got till, I don't remember, so December 31st is when the land lease ends. Oh, it's more magma. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay. Well, continue siphoning off of this dude. I don't know what that is right there. Let's go look. It's pretty cheap for us to send a mole out at this point. So we might as well send out a mole and see what we can find. Hopefully prices go back up at some point. Oh, that's more oil right there. Okay. Well, as much as I'd love to kill that chamber off, I can't guarantee we can go any... Oh, that chamber's dead. Go for it, then. Go for it. Get it out there right now. Like, you get a bonus at the end of the year if you kill off every single chamber full of magma. Or, I'm sorry, every single chamber full of oil in case you're a warner. So, like, let's get greasy out here. Let's do this thing. Pump away. Technically, I could take that over to there, to that other... Ah, we hit a rock. Are you serious right now? Oh, it's the most annoying thing on Earth. Okay. It's fine. We can make this work. We can make this happen. 
We just gotta move quickly because that price is going back up and we need to have like a big sell off at the end of this year. Otherwise, we will have wasted our time. So that's closed off right there. I need that to be closed. Price is up. Alright, unload everything. Whatever you got, I want it gone. Get it out of here. That was not a terrible day spent in the fields. It was alright. It was alright. Um, I'd shut this down right here, except for the fact that it'll shut down operation on that little vent. And I don't want to lose access to the remaining oil when I think we can actually kill off that pocket if we try really hard. There's got to be more oil around here somewhere that I just missed out on. There's got to be, but frankly, we just didn't have time to look for it. You want to make sure you have no supply left at the end of the year. We can. We got one wagon left right there, so we might as well sell it off. It'll show us the map after we complete this as well. So no biggie, no harm, no foul. We don't have time to dig for anything else, so we might as well just kind of wait out this year. 27,000 is not... A ah, there was one right there through the rock. Gotcha. Okay, so we missed one. We were close, though. We were really, really close. Uh, nope. Don't want to do that. We made our right money. We made 37,000. That's not too bad. We got to see how everybody else did, though, because at the end of the day, this game is a competition between you and everybody else. Apparently, we out-earned everybody else in Buku Spades, so that's good. But let's go ahead, and what I'd like to do, my name is Jack, and tools to deal with magma. Okay, I don't really want to deal with magma right now. I don't really care about that. Instead, what I want is the drill upgrade. That's what I really want. Where's the drill upgrade? Somebody give me a drill over here. There you go. There you go, that's the stuff. We also have the super silo, if that's what we wanted to go for. But I'm going to try and sit on a little bit of cash for right now. We need to go select our next parcel of land. Oh, my bad. Uh, we got to select our next parcel of land. So let's go over here. Uh, this is a 35. So there's a pretty good chance that we've got decent land right here. And one of these cells on this side is either better than that one, or all three of these are worse than that one. It really comes down to how much of a gambler you are. I'm gonna go right there. Okay, well apparently everybody got their land for dirt cheap, so no harm, no foul. Let's see here. Let's get that oil. We're taking 2,000 with us for startup cost. Yeah, we're good to go, man. Let's go. Let's go do this thing. I'm turmoiled up. I love this game. Come on, instant cash. Sell the left or right and receive the amount that's on the building. Oh, that's right. I forgot about exclusivity. I totally forgot about that. How you can, like, hard mode it up and you can make it so that, like, it's only... You can hard mode it up and you can make it so that for a couple of months you can only sell to left or right. And you get like a bonus for startup costs or whatever. But you are subject. There is a chance that like left or right may never have good oil prices the entire game. And then you miss out like big time. It just depends once again how much of a gambler you are. It really does depend. Let's take that on down. I'm going to be a little bit aggressive about the drilling for right now. Since I can't guarantee how deep down this is going to be. Keep going. There you go. There's the stuff. Alright, so we found that guy's stuff. I would actually like for you to just run this over to here. I don't even really care. They've got a good price over on left. I'm going to take the money from left. So that'll give us a little bit more to play with. Uh, we can't do anything with them right now. That's all you need to know. Let's get a silo moving with the extra money that we had from right there. I'm going to upgrade that. Let's get another dowser. And I'm going to drop one mole. Just to see what we find. We may find something. We may not find anything. This game can be a little bit temperamental like that. Sometimes you find stuff. Sometimes you don't. Now, nah, throw, throw that inside the silo. We don't need to use that up for right now. Okay, so we got something over there. Looks good to me. That's a big old well right there. Damn. Okay, give me a couple more horses over here. Wild horses. 
Oh my god, that's the biggest. That's a really, really, really big oil pocket right there. That's like a nutty large oil pocket. I'm frankly surprised by how big that oil pocket is. That's like massive. Now we just gotta kind of hope that either this one dries up or this price goes up on that side before our silo fills up. If our silo fills up, we are in a world of hurt. You found so Yeah, I know. I already, I already found that one, man. I'm gonna have to sell for a low price just to keep the silos from overflowing. I don't want to. But at this point, it's necessary. So I'm gonna have people kind of liquidate over here a little bit. We're not gonna sell, like, everything we have, but we already have, like, a full silo, so... Why freak out about it? If we can get our cash up... I'm gonna send out a mole over here just to see what he finds. Like, sometimes moles find something good. And give me a couple more horses over here. We're gonna sell what we can on this side while we can sell it. And then I'm gonna expand the size of that pipe very, very soon, because it's probably gonna take us the better portion of the year to get that pipe done. Uh, left's prices are taking a dive right now. Which is markedly unfortunate, but... I've got enough for another silo, so we'll sell off, like, one more load right there, and then we're going to take this all back to the silos. Uh, let me get another dowser to look around and find what we can find. I'm going to need to expand the size of that pipe, otherwise we're never going to get done with it in time. We do have a couple of gas veins over here. We can chain these together if we're sneaky about it, and then if we chain these together, we can have all of it go over there for a massive one-time sell blowout. Hopefully he finds something down here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Take that over to there. Like, I know he's only found gas so far. Ugh. Just depends if I want to drill through rock or not. May have to. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to. I don't think we're going to have an option on that side. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to push these prices, like, way up over here with, like, a double gas vein. But we'll have to wait and see if it works. Uh, you guys sell over at left for now. I am actively attempting to get paid right now. All right. We're going to have to drill through right there. We don't have a choice. So I'm going to upgrade the drill. That's all good to go. Prices are going back down on that side, which is a bummer. But I can't help that. There's not really a whole lot that I can do about that situation. With the money we have available right now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to actually complete this drill project. So what I need is for that to go over to there. And then we're going to take this down like one more step. And we're going to go to either side. Oh, hell. Yeah, that's not good. We're leaking gas right now. I know the gas is escaping. I don't have the money to close the vent. I forgot that it costs money. There we go. All right, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Just chill for a minute. Chill for a minute. We got plenty of time. It's only May. We're not that far into the year. You guys keep us from having a spill over here. Yeah, keep that thing from just completely and totally over siphoning. But we're going to have to plan this out excessively Ugh, gross I'm gonna have to sell at a terrible price over here I wasn't expecting to go through this much oil I just need to keep the the silos kind of moving I also need to get one of these gas veins hooked up so that when this price goes back up, we already have a line running. Yeah, y'all need to get over there and stop that from happening too. Alright, so run that over to there. That needs to be there like right now. Because I think this big sellout is pretty much all we're going to have. You guys start selling over here. I need more horses. I think we're maxed out on horses. And as soon as that lands, I'm actually not going to close this off. I'm just going to let that free flow over there and do its thing. Perfect. Yep, everybody take your oil over here. 
but I need you to stop this spillage before anything else. Alright, stop that spillage. Alright, close that rig down real fast. We're going to be going almost completely and entirely off of our stored up stuff right now. We're sitting at 195, and this is a huge gas vein right here. So I'm pretty sure this is going to push to an absolutely monstrous size. But we just need to be careful about it and make sure that we're sticking with it. So you guys unload. Everybody get bigger carts. Uh, we still have loads of gas left inside of that one right there, which I'm okay with. You go ahead and find me another dousing spot if you can. We're going to expand that size out right there while we wait. Because this is going to... This is going to hit the moon right here. Like, this thing, we're sending this price up to just insane levels right now. And we still have so much gas left. That's the truly insane part, is just how much gas is left. Yeah, you guys need to siphon that off. That's sitting at $3 right now. Keep it there. This is what I need from you. Keep it there. Keep it there. Oh, we're about to have the sell-off of a lifetime. Did our dowser find anything? It's August right now. I don't know if I still have time to go after anything else. Uh, let me just go for moles right now real fast. We have the money, so I just need to uncover where anything else might be. You guys keep siphoning off. Continue to sell. As much as possible, anyways. Hopefully one of the moles will hit something over here, but we've already made, like, an insane amount of money off this map. Like, that was a really, really good run. And if we can maintain the sell-off, I'm okay with it. Uh, he says there's something over here. We're gonna follow it down, but I don't have a whole lot of faith that we're gonna find anything by the end of the year. Man, that sell-off was good right there. That was a real good sell-off. I'm pretty happy with it. I love turmoil, man. Setting up little combos like that are so perfect. Like, it just makes you so happy when you pull something off like you're desperate and you're losing money and then you pull something off right there and you end up having, like, an amazing round. Like, that right there is what's so great about Turmoil as a game. I don't know how deep down he says this is. But we ain't found it yet, so... He says it's here. I think he might be bullshitting me a little bit, though. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's September. That's a little tiny. That's a little tiny pocket, though. That ain't much. Get down to there, and we're going to see how much we can take over here. And we're just going to, like, sell around the clock. You keep going right there. I see another big pocket right there. And we have basically three months to capitalize on this pocket. Shit. Dude, I cannot have magma in my way right now. Like, I definitely need that to go away. Start retrofitting these right here. I want those to be thicker by the time we get there. I wasn't expecting there to be oil down here. Oh, there's two of them right there. Well, ain't that something. Alright, we'll go over to there. I don't even know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. And we're just going to sell it as fast as we get it for right now. Close that off. I need to suck these dry rapidly. We ain't got a whole lot of time to play with right now. but I do need it all to be finished off quickly. Yep, let's get a nice, strong stream over here going. I believe that one's the one that's jamming up the pipe on that side, I think. I don't really know, though. I mean, I think we should be okay. We're just gonna, like, sell around the clock over here. Oh, there's another one down there. Damn it! I see you. Hopefully it's not gas. If it ends up being gas, that's a problem. Please don't be gas. If you're gas, this is going to suck. Oh, no, you're oil. You are oil. And I have a very limited amount of time to exploit you. 
Alright, send out some moles. We've got the money to burn anyways. Who cares? I'm worried we're not going to have time for a sell-off. If you're wondering why I'm just leaving this open and selling over here, it's because we're just clearing out the last couple little pockets anyways. And so I'm kind of like past the point where... There must be another one over here. He's still standing there. There is. Oh, dude. Hats on hamsters, bro. This is not a good situation. Yeah, I mean, hit that with a level 3 pipe, I guess. That's all that I can do, and hopefully we finish that off by the end of the year. I was hoping we would get all these done. I really sincerely was. But I guess that's life now. All right, well, do the best you can. Siphon off what we have, make it happen, and, you know. Prices ain't too bad on this side, so it could be worse. I think we probably came pretty damn close to getting the entire map on that one. I'd be interested to see how well we did, so let's give it a couple more days and we'll have a look. We miss anything? Hey, we got the entire map. All right, I think we get a bonus for that, like $10,000. Yeah, we sold all of our oil, we got all the gas, and we got all the oil, so $3,000 bonus right there. Yup, yup, yup. We're beating the AI pretty good right now, although that old lady right there is really not making it easy. My name is Splattercat, this is Turmoil. If you want to get the game for yourself, it's down below. This is kind of an older title, but I love this game and I felt like playing it today. So I figured I'd give you an extra episode. Take care, everybody. Hi, do, and thank you for joining me in the world of indie games. My name is Splattercat, I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day so that you don't have to. Hi, do, and I'll see you next time.